hello everyone this is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in this video i'll show you how we can use yolo v6 on videos so we will uh, test a trained model on videos and then we'll save the output videos with the detected objects okay so in my last video of yolo v6 i have explained you how to train your custom model and then i have shown you how to test your trained model on images so if you are directly checking this video then please check that video first because that video will teach you how to prepare your data set for yolo v6 and then how to train your custom yolo v6 model and how to test that model on images okay so link is given in description section you can check that today i will directly start with how we can use yolo v6 on videos so let's start so guys i'm working on the same data set okay the data set which i've used in my previous class of yolo v6 the plant leaf disease detection data set which have uh, 30 output classes means uh, that custom model can detect 30 different types of uh, plant diseases i'm using the same data set i'm using that model which was trained on that plant leaf disease detection data set okay so uh, uh, we have saved our weights okay so in my last class i've shown you how to save your weights so we have saved the weights and those weights are over here so this is the folder in which i'm working and this is the yolo v6 repo which we have cloned and this is my data set folder okay so right now i'm just showing you the weights which we have stored open this yolo v6 uh, folder and over here click on this runs folder then train then this and then weights inside this weights folder this best uh, underscore this thing so this is the weight file we have uh, created last time now using this weight file we will test the videos okay so let's go back to the code so let's see the steps guys i'm just uh, briefing you what we did last time we cloned the github repo we entered in that github repo and then we install the requirements and after that we used this command to train our model and after that we got the weight file which i have shown you this weight file which we, uh, which i have shown you okay and then today using this weight file we will test our algorithm okay so now to test our algorithm we what i have done is just go to this yolo v6 folder inside this we have another yolo v6 folder and then core after that this infrared.py file just open this file so when you will see this file you can see that we have one class with the name of infrared and inside that class we have different different function first function is this infer uh, infer function so this have some code pre uh, precess function uh, image function this have some code so in the same way we have you know, five six different different functions in this class so we will use these functions i mean we will copy the whole code from here just copy the whole code from this file and then paste it over here you can see the same class i'm using over here okay so i have copied the whole code from there and did minor modifications okay so let me show you the code first so this is the whole class code okay uh, when you pasted that code over here after that this is a dictionary this is basically the arguments which we will use and you can see that the first argument is weights and i have given the path of the uh, weights of my custom model and source inside source i have given the path of the video on which i want to perform the testing and over here this is the dataset.yaml file and guys uh, in my previous video i have shown you this is the important file this is the file which is responsible for telling your model that where our data set is how many classes are there and what are the different names of those classes okay all that detail is present in this file and then image size confidence threshold and other such things are here in this okay now in this variable i have stored the path of the video on which i want to perform testing and here i'm calling that infer class 
which we have copied from infrared.py file. Remember this infrared.py file, which is in this uh, core folder. Okay, so we are calling that file over here, and then we are passing the arguments, and we are picking the arguments from here. You can see args weights. That means arguments. We are picking the weights from here. So like this, we have passed the other arguments over here. Okay. Now, this step over here, we are defining a video capture object, and then over here, we will capture the video frame, frame by frame. Okay. And then this video writer, we are using this video writer function. This function will write the output video with the detected objects. Okay. So what we want to once we give input video to our model, our model will perform detection on it and then it will generate a new video which will have detections on it, bounding boxes and their labels and their confidence code. OK, so for that, we are using this video writer and this is the name of the output file. So when you execute this code, you will get the output uh, out video detected video with this name and this is related these are the other parameter like this is related to some compress the frames this is a fps 30 fps and this is the size of the you know height and width we are passing different parameters when you use this uh, function so you have to pass different parameters these are those parameters okay now in these lines these lines are responsible for the whole function for this um, object detection on video okay so initially what we are doing let's see this step infrared this is the class name which we have copied from the infrared.py file and and we are using the precess image function of this class and the precess image function is responsible for uh, you know pre-processing the image means it will scale your image okay and then these are the parameters we are giving the um, uh, this, this this img source remember here so this is storing a frame okay so we are providing that it will pre-process the every frame okay and then we are using the once we pre-process the images the frames of the video the next function is infer function of this infer class the infer function is responsible to uh, to do this inference task and it will perform the model inference task and it will do some visualization also okay let's see let's go above and see this function okay you can see in this comment section also this is the infer function it is in infrared class and the task of this function is to perform model inference and result visualization we are calling this function from here and you can see the precess function image function which i have just used so what that function is doing it is just a uh, pre-processing on the image like we are scaling the image th these kind of things are here okay so what we have done is we have used this infrared function after that we are using a loop because for every frame will execute the code now we uh, video is consist of frames and for every frame we have to perform the same working so we are using the loop and over here you can see infrared dot plot box and label so this is the another function of this infrared class and the task of this function is to plot bounding boxes and to write labels on the objects okay we are doing that after that output dot write what is this output this output is the variable in which we are performing this video writer we, are, we have written a function which will create a video with this name and it will have uh, uh, this will be a video with the detected objects okay so we, uh, in that output variable we are writing what we are writing this image what this image is this image is uh, uh, containing this image source we have converted that image source into an array uh, and we will have all the detected objects one by one over here and we are writing that in the output variable and every frame is going there and we'll get a video okay now after that we are re releasing the resources so after executing this right you will get a output video now let's see that output video okay so it is over here 
now let me show you that so this is the video and over here you can see the fps in this video is working right you can see it is detecting our objects and it is giving the label name and the confidence score and the bounding box so this is how this video object detection work now the next thing is let's suppose if you want to check the um, check the you know performance of your model then there is another file with the name of eval.py this is again in a tools folder you can call this eval file and you have to give this dataset.yml is a file which we have created right and batch size and the weights so this is my model weight so i've given the path of that and then this task well so what we are saying over here is we want to check the average precision on validation data okay so uh, it will perform okay let me show you the data set so when you see this this data set folder contains our data set so this is the data the data which is in train folder we have used that for training and now we want to perform the we want to see the precision average precision on this validation data okay so how many images are there in validation data 239 images so i want to work on these now so for that we have given this and this is the model which we have trained uh, the weights and when you scroll down you can see we are getting average precision and recall over here using that command okay so in the same way let's say if you want to see inference speed of your model so then again you will use that eval.py file only and now this time with this task you will write a speed and when you'll execute it over here you can see the speed of your model okay so uh, this is how you can perform guys um, uh, object detection this is how you can test your videos um, using this yolo v6 model i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching